My name's Jack Hendry and I've been living in the Northern Rivers since 2015 and my main medium in recent years has been spray paint and murals. I've been doing big scale stuff so. Um, the project is to rehaul a warehouse that was flood stricken and you could have canoed through this second story window that's off to my left so the flood pretty much destroyed this place and pumped all the walls so I've just been putting the walls back up and making them you know, into large scale, scale murals. I came up here to study art at SU. You know, the first couple of years there was a lot of, you know, decent artists and I had someone like, not that art's a competition, but it was good to like have someone to kind of, for like, lack of a better word, compete against. I have been paid, I have been contracted to do, do work and yeah, it's pretty few and far between. I, like, I can't support myself on it, it's still, still kind of new start at the moment. Most of what I make goes back into paint supplies and, and the next project. I found most of the artists I work with at uni, which is a good, good reason to go to uni. I'm not getting any younger, so, you know, even though I look a lot younger than I am, I, I feel if I, if I hadn't started when I started, it would have been too late because I see a lot of people who have you know, just started that maybe five, ten years too late or they've waited just to do something else. What I'm doing at the moment, this big scale project, is would have, I wouldn't have been able to have the money. Wouldn't have been able to have the literal space. I couldn't afford this amount of space in the city because I would have been broke within two months, I reckon. There are all, there are a lot of negatives and positives. I try to see the positive because, as again, I wouldn't be able to like you know afford space I might not even get approved to do all this in the city so it's like like a stomping ground really it's really to kind of like you know somewhere to spread your wings and then my because this is a portfolio piece to get into another uni down in Sydney or wherever like there's not not any set dates it depends where I get in and yeah so it's good to good to breathe good to develop as an artist it's just got to keep you got to keep pushing and pushing yourself to be motivated because i see a lot of artists around here who have all the time in the world and none of the none of the drive as well as I, a lot of people get held back by financial financial situations but yeah i don't drink anymore so that helps I exercise as much as I possibly can. I try and devote just as much time to my body as my art because your art is your tool and your, you know, artistic vehicle. And if it's not run well, it's not gonna, it's gonna like break. So, and trying to avoid, avoid burnout, which is a, like ined inevitable in the long run, but you try and try not to burn out as much as possible which is always hard because you don't know whether to gauge it to go paint for one more day or to give it a day or you know try and push things but i found to the right the right of the right amount of acceleration is key i can i was drawing before i can remember really because uh, my mum showed me drawings of when i was like two and uh, yeah I can't, I can't remember doing them so it's kind of it's in, been in, in the blood since I can remember because, and I've always grown up watching my mum paint constantly because she's like an amazing still, still life and scenery painter. And, um, yeah, my mum, like my mum was the biggest supporter. I've pretty much everyone else has been the complete opposite. And like, why would you ever do this? Why would you waste your time? How are you gonna make money? How are you gonna do this? But my mum, like, was always, always supportive of me doing this and. The, the more the more I tried to get away from art, um, I could feel my mum, like not that she was forcing me to do art, but I could feel she was thinking that I, I should do it without actually, you know, without saying it. And then when I'd kind of, I tried carpentry and working in pubs, like doing hospitality in childcare and then she was always supportive with that, but when I when I went off to art school, she was pretty pretty proud. I met um, Jaller at a street art workshop that he was teaching. That was getting run by the it was funded by the art club at um, at the SEU, and he you know he gave me my first 
first can of iron lac, so, and it was like insane how, how not easy it was, how, but how doable it was with actual proper paint. And he, he got, he, he like called me into paint with him and do like side pieces and he come paint with me. And even though I'd been like not even painting for a year, most people were like, you know, pro, pro um, street artists or graf you know graphers and stuff. They don't they don't look at you twice or yeah. So he gave me my first proper proper go and my like foundations to really you know spread my wings.